Hi Aries, this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Aries sign. Okay, so in terms of awareness for the week, we have the Five of Wands and we have the Seven of Wands. So the Five of Wands is often about uh, competition or dis uh, disagreements or conflict. So you may be teeing it up with someone. It could be at the office, it could be within your relationship, it could be a friend where there is discord, where there's disharmony, where you're not seeing things eye to eye. And it can make you feel a little unsettled when we have these dust ups with friends or with family or even strangers. And so be mindful of these moments when it doesn't seem that people are working together toward a common goal or people at, are at odds and they're saying things and it can be draining. So just be careful with that. Be careful with how you proceed. Here's the five of wands and here's the seven of wands. And what do you see in this illustration? You see someone standing up on the steps with the people below. Again, it's this idea of protecting yourself, of looking out for yourself and having perhaps to defend yourself. If you are in disagreements, if there's discord, you may feel compelled to have to explain your thinking, to explain where you're coming from, to protect your values, you know, your desires. So as an awareness for the week, you know, you just be me on your toes. And, you know, these, these five of wands and these seven of wands moments, they don't last forever. We experience them and then we move on. We deal with it and then we find a way to, to keep carrying on. So let's see what we have in terms of guidance. Wow, we've, oh my goodness, this wand energy for you, Aries. Whew. So in terms of your guidance, you have the six of wands, which is about a card of uh, success. It's a card of earning your reward of putting in uh, the time and the energy and the discipline and making the right decisions and dealing with the obstacles and the naysayers and the troublemakers and whoever may be along the path. Ultimately, you prevail. And ultimately, you have success and you are able to be recognized for that, to be noticed for that success. There's a lot of this fire energy. It's passionate. Uh, when we're in discussions, when we're having conflict, you know, it's often about passionate issues or things that are important to us. So we get through this and ultimately we have success here by virtue of having to be a leader, having to navigate the challenges and hanging in there, having the determination to continue on. That success is something you should enjoy. If we're talking about that you are having a success at the office, then you know this may result in a small bonus. Maybe it's a nice email from your boss, a high five from your friends, you know, just recognition that it's a job well done. It could certainly be the success maybe of a smaller goal that you have tried to accomplish in the last couple of weeks eating healthier, exercising more, saving extra money, uh, studying or, you know, paying attention to your spiritual practice. Success here. And when we have success and when we feel this reward, where do we go? The two of wands. It's about the vision. It's about what's next for you. What are you going to be planning? What are you going to be hoping to achieve, to accomplish, to continue the furtherance of using your, your passions and your desires and the things that you want to accomplish in life? So this two of wands is standing out, taking a good look and visualizing. It's the initial stages of creation and manifesting that there's the possibility here of a new, a new path for you, a new opportunity, a new enterprise, a new relationship for some of you. But it starts with you looking out into the distance and thinking to yourself, what's next for me? 
Where am I headed? How does, effect, how does this impact and affect my current life? But it's taking stock of your own life and then really seeing what the big picture is. And, and again, we have the conflict, disagreement, protection, protecting yourself along the way. You're still successful. You still have done a great job. You're going to be rewarded for that. And now what's next for you is to look at, you know, where am I headed? So let's see in terms of in terms of possible outcomes, we have two major arcana cards. We have judgment and we have the strength card. So judgment is about the opportunities for a second chance for a rebirth for transformation to think about where you've been it's really hearing the call it's listening to the universe sending you these signals to to take heed to pay uh, attention to the you know the epiphany that you may be experiencing and so you think about what went on before and where you are now and where you hope to be it's never too late to want to be your best self, to live your life of purpose. And so we clear our slate from everything that happened before. We get that ritual cleansing. We are able to say we're free. And now what's next for me? I don't feel guilt. I don't feel remorse. I'm ready to be reborn. I'm ready to, again, continue the desire for life, for passion, to feel alive. The good news, you have the strength and you have the, the control in order to handle whatever comes your way. If it's bumpy, if it's smooth, this is about inner strength. This is about your heart, the courage within your heart. It's also about the belief that you are strong enough to handle whatever, whatever comes your way. You are also strong enough by virtue of not forcing things on people, but you're doing it out of love and kindness, that when you are of generous of heart and spirit, that's true strength. So we have some pretty, uh, the judgment and strength are pretty big cards, big ideas for you. Number one, that you're, not only are you successful, the six of wands, but boy, you have a lot of inner fortitude a lot of courage to keep you going as you explore new pathways, as you look at new opportunities. And, you know, judgment is the call for you to think about how do you claim and how do you serve what's meant for you, what the universe means for you, your highest self, your highest purpose. So let's take a look at... Uh, an affirmation for the week. And, you know, I chose an Oracle deck that has pretty basic and helpful messages for the week because I think that we could all benefit from that. Career transition. Your life purpose is triggering, triggering a bless, blessed career change. Two of Wands career transition for some of you this will speak very very clearly and again judgment would tell you that it's never too late to think about where you are right now it's never too late to reset to be reborn to transform and to restructure and particularly to bring in your life purpose and finally let's choose a card for love Acceptance, you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So very interesting. It could certainly relate to the five of wands and the seven of wands. Release control of situations. Let it go. Deal with it, cope with it, and then send it off. Acceptance is important. Uh, and it's important to think about just going with the flow and letting, again, the universe lead you 
when you hear the call. So Aries, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something here that was helpful in any way. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much for your time. Bye-bye.